Jerry, two important questions for you. Uh, firstly, the second goal. Yeah. Are you claiming it? Um, I'd like to claim it, but that's in on Sky Sports. It's gone down as an own goal, so I can't really claim it. But originally it was um, a cross for Nat at the back post. So yeah. You need breaks to go your way sometimes, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Um, the, um, obviously a great game for, for us all to play in. Um, we had to put some graft in like and um, obviously the subs that came on, the lads that didn't come on, everyone pushed each other every day and to finally get that away win, um, I think it's a big weight off our shoulders. No doubt about the first goal, um, which you took fantastically well. Take me through your mindset when, when you're sort of lurking behind the defence as you were there. Um, to be honest, I just thought, obviously, come from Jacob with a big kick and um, I knew that like the left back at the time didn't wouldn't have seen me, so I sort of like just literally gambled, and obviously knew he went, as soon as he passed it, I thought oh, my luck's in here. But then at the same time, I thought if the keeper comes out here, he's going to try and literally nick the ball off me. So I thought do a decent touch, and then obviously finish it off. Second important question, and lots of people have asked me this, and it's been the talk of the office. Can you explain the celebration? <laughs> um, I can't really explain. No, it's a private joke between the lads. The lads was on to me literally an hour before the game, on into me um, in the hotel room and stuff like that. It was literally giving me some right, um, right. <laughs> so um, <laughs> yeah, I have to. They made me. They made. They half made me do it, and yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice when you celebrate with all the lads and all the lads are involved. And like I say, it's a, it's a close knit group, happy lads. So yeah. Is it nice to have little in jokes and things yeah, like that? Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Um, it shows how close knit the lads are. Um, literally, everyone's in on it. So we'll uh, we'll see see what celebration we can get for Saturday. Uh, you referenced it earlier. Um, is it a bit of a weight off the shoulders to get that first away win? I think yeah, subconsciously, subconsciously. Um, I don't think no one goes into the game thinking about it, but um, to finally get it, especially against a team like that's. That's, that's a very, very good team and yeah, it was it was massive because obviously people, when we went there, no one expects us to get a result and to come away with a win is, is massive. I wanted to ask about um, Dijon Brown, played up front with him on, on Wednesday night, young striker at the start of his career and, and got his first goal a couple of games ago. What are you seeing in Dej? He's an animal. He's, he's, he's one of them, he's got everything. Pace, power, obviously he's got to adapt to the speed of the game. I was speaking to him the first 20 minutes, half an hour, and obviously the nerves get better you and your legs seize up and stuff like that, but literally telling him you can just get through it, you'll be sound the next five, ten minutes, and after that he was frightening him. Obviously it takes a lot of weight off my shoulders if you're playing with him sort of thing, so it's like a shared load sort of thing, um, but honestly you see him in training every day, he's a handful, strong, pacey, can finish, he's got everything, can head. So, um, Listen, he just needs to keep his head down. And obviously, he'll have many more um, opportunities. How well do you remember those sort of big moments from your career, sort of first start, first goal, things like that? Oh, very, very vivid. I can tell you literally everything about um, my debuts, sort of like my first few games, my first goal and all that malarkey. So, Go on, talk us through your first goal then. My first goal, um, come at an unfortunate time, really. Obviously, a family member had just passed, literally the Friday before, and the gaffer obviously spoke to me, which was obviously Paul at the time, um, and he uh, says he's still willing to start the next day. I was like, yeah, of course. And obviously we played Norwich, and we'd not won in ages, obviously the championship at the time, and we were struggling. Um, and obviously the first, I think it was 20 minutes, 30 minutes, um, the ball got put across, left foot finish, um, into the back of the net, that sort of thing. And that was my first goal, obviously. We went on to win that, that game 2-1. Um, I think it's Tom Adiemi scored the second goal. Um, so, yeah, it was... I remember everything. Do you think that is a mark maybe of you or maybe a mark of a goal scorer that you remember things like that? Because not every player, you talk to some and, and they struggle to remember sort of games and incidents. I'm not sure, really. I'm not sure. I've never really spoke to anyone or any of the other lads seem to remember stuff from the games or previous years. But to be fair, if 
and everyone telling me little stories about what they've done in the past and stuff like that. So I'm presuming everyone near enough knows literally every action from every game. So, yeah. A big win on Wednesday night. Um, you get a break next week, but there's a game on, on Saturday which is just as important. How are you all feeling ahead of Plymouth? Yeah, so confident. Obviously, after that win uh, Wednesday night against Coventry, um, we just need to follow it up with back-to-back -back wins. And in this league, that's massive. You obviously, everyone sees how tight the, late, tight the league is, so we need to collect points. And um, Saturday will be a good opportunity for us to do that. First Pride Park goal would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, you're not wrong. So, yeah, I'm excited for it.